Welcome back, everybody. We're going to conclude our discussion of gas laws. And right now, we have three activities. And the first activity is an easy one. Let's make it an easy one. To do a gas law equation, we got to figure out which of the two gas laws we're going to use. We've got the one that covers one pressure, one volume, one temperature for a given number of gas molecules. And we have the other one. Here's the first set of conditions, pressure one, volume one, temperature one equals pressure two, volume two, temperature two. So if we can identify, if we have changing conditions, then we're gonna use this one. And if we have just one set of conditions, then we're gonna use this one. So let's see which each activity has, and then quickly do activity one. It's gonna be real, real quick. In fact, you know, I'll make this called equation one, and this called equation two, and I'm only gonna put a one or a two on those lines there as my answer. That's pretty nice. So, the first one here, we have information to calculate volume. Because we got to use this here. Info for the only volume. And this here, info for number of moles. What's the symbol for the number of moles? N, that's kind of a big giveaway right there. This is info, this is the only temperature. Why do I keep saying only? There's only one temperature. There's only one volume. Right away, I know which equation to use. Is it number one up top or number two? With only one set of conditions, it's number one. And activity three, I'm given uh, ATM. What is that a measure of? Pressure. And it's the, this is the original pressure, call it P1. This is the original temperature, call it P1. The reason I'm saying original, because I see another, I'm asked for a new temperature. And the, at the end of the question, it says, what's the new temp? Oh, come on. This is one where I'm given a temperature and I want a new temperature. That's a changing set of conditions. This is T2. So right away, just from that information, I know that's equation two. And that's the end of our first uh, activity today. That's pretty easy. Huh? And we're going to put a one and a two, and we're going to stop.